Did you know that if you hear a really high-pitched sound later on in pregnancy, you can just start spurting milk from your boobs? Like two rockets. It's like boom, boom, pow. <laughs> it's quite magical. I don't mind the bump touching, because to me, the bump was so weird. I was a bit like, yeah, feel it. It's just... <sighs> That's me, like, that's quite weird. Um, so I didn't mind, and actually I like people touching me, just, you know, like, within limits. So I'm like, oh, like a cat. But yeah, the, the the sort of baby talking thing did freak me out. I mean, there was like a um, prenatal yoga thing where um, there was one session that I did where I'd, got, I'd mentioned I got a bad lower back and we had to all lie on the floor and close our eyes. And I woke, I sort of opened my eyes and the, the yoga instructor had grabbed my ankles and was just swaying my legs like this and sort of smiling at me in this way. And I was just like, this is just too much. This is so weird. It was like I'd had a weird sex experience with her and I was trying to like, I just didn't want to catch her eye. I don't think I went again after that because it was just felt really strange. And I was like, there are some like boundaries that shouldn't be crossed. Yeah, and also just not talking about, you know, what's going to happen to your body. You're there doing yoga to presumably prevent yourself from just splitting in two when you give birth. And no one's talking about the terror. They're all like, yeah. Mm. And I was just like, oh, this is already really weird. Am I the only person that's here thinking that we're not talking about the elephant in the room, really? I don't want a new... I know you don't want a new daddy, but there was no possibility of that, so stop going on about it.